record. Okay, so welcome to class today. And um, as I was talking with one student earlier, it's just, it's just kind of a weird, it's really strange, right? It's a really weird time that we're all in. And, um, you know, I was thinking about it and I, I brought up this book before the Yamas and Niyamas, which are the ethical practices of yoga. And um, it made me think about this time, you know, it's, it's getting really hard. You know, it's, it's gone on long and it kind of feels like enough already, but at the same time, there's that, that caution and concern that we know we need to hang in there a little longer. And it brought up the idea to me of um, tapas or um, self-discipline and, and the idea that sometimes we kind of need to like almost get into the fire. The idea of like, you know, fields that sometimes they'll burn a field so that certain seeds and things can grow. And, um, you know, in this book, um, Deborah Adele writes that, you know, the promise of a crisis is that it will pick us up and deposit us on the other side of something. Will we trust the process or will we run and hide? And, um, you know, tapas is kind of that willingness to both like be, be burned and affected by this, but yet so that we can be there and accept the blessings that come from it. And it's really hard to say like, what are these blessings that come from it? But, you know, people have pointed out things like, well, our environment is getting a break. Um, you know, it's getting people to really start, you know, slowing down in some ways and thinking about some things that are really important to them. Um, and, you know, maybe we're all taking a little more time to reach out and connect with people, um, just making that little effort to do that a little more. So you know, hopefully in this process, we're all gonna stay strong and coming to take the time to do yoga is one of those things that can help you do that to stay strong physically, emotionally, um, and mentally. So take a moment on your mat and close your eyes and take a few deep grounding breaths and let your face soften and let your jaw relax and your shoulders roll down your back. On your next inhale, let your belly relax as you exhale and your sit bones get heavy and let your legs and arms soften. Maybe move them around, adjust them at all. And just take a moment to think about how this last month or so has been for you and acknowledge those hardships, those things that you have had to deal with that have been hard, that have been a struggle. Um, and, you know, sometimes we kind of just try to keep on going and, and imagine everything's just normal, fine. And we know that it's not. So sometimes we need to just acknowledge those and just kind of check them off in your mind. And then give yourself a big pat on the back, a little gratitude for getting through and for doing as well as you are doing so far. Um, in this challenge that we're in and take a nice big deep inhale and breathe in that gratitude for yourself and on your exhale just release any tensions or any worries that you are that come to mind and then bring your hands to your heart center and I invite you to chant the sound of OM with me three times um, and take a full exhale and a deep joyful inhale Oh. Uh. On your inhale, open your arms wide, lift your gaze, lift your sternum, gently tone your belly, take a nice big inhale. And on your exhale, tuck in, wrap your arms around yourself, tuck your chin into your chest, round your upper back. And then inhale, open your arms, lift your gaze, lift your sternum, draw the shoulder blades together. 
exhale, hug in. And as you're hugging in, just imagine, again, giving yourself that pat on the back, acknowledging your efforts in this challenge we're in. Inhale, lift your gaze, lift your heart center. And exhale, hug in. Alternate your arms. And then inhale, open up. Lift your gaze, roll the shoulders down your back. Exhale, hug in. And then inhale, lift your arms up overhead, clasp your hands, point your fingers, ground down your sit bones, take a nice big breath, lengthening through the crown of your head. Let the rib cage expand, let the sternum lift. Breathing here. Big exhale as you ground down, let the shoulders come away from the ears. And then another full inhale. And then as you exhale, release, twist to the right. I got my cat Skip here joining me. Inhale, tall, up through the crown of your head. On your exhale, just gently see if you can find a little more depth in the twist. Only, but going only as far as you can go without any pain or discomfort. Inhale, arms up overhead. Clasp your hands, roll the shoulders down your back. Take a nice big full inhale. Really expand through the rib cage. On your exhale, let yourself ground down. Draw the shoulders down. Let your sit bones settle. And then inhale, reach up through the crown of your head. And then exhale, twist to the left. Gently tone the belly in your twist. Inhale, lengthen up. Exhale, see if you can find a little more depth in the twist. Inhale, arms up overhead. And then exhale, release them down. Bring your hands, <clears throat> come back onto your seat and bring your hands behind your knees. Draw the belly and roll the shoulders down your back. Come up onto your sit bones and see if you can find your balance here in your boat pose, in your Navasana. You can release your hands, go ahead and do that. You can keep the knees bent. You can keep the toes on the floor if you need to, but try to keep the navel drawn in. And maybe you even wanna stretch the legs, but only do that if you don't lose the integrity of the low back. Holding here, knowing that you're not alone in the vibration and the shaking, in the heat that's building up. Think of that tapas, that inner fire. Sometimes you have to go into the flame to have some transformation. And that's kind of what this time is right now. We're like heated up in the flame of this intense pandemic. Breathing here, holding, hang in there, and then release, bring the soles of the feet together, inhale tall, exhale, hinge forward at the hips. Try to keep a nice long spine at first, shoulders down your back. Take a nice big inhale and lengthen the spine. And on your exhale, just try to soften your legs and just try to let them relax a little bit into the opening. And then inhale and come up. Come back up onto your sit bones, roll the shoulders down your back, draw the navel into the spine, so you can come back up into your Navasana. Bring the hands out. Again, you can keep the knees bent. You can put the feet down, so you can stretch out long. Maybe you wanna do that. And maybe you do that part of the time, holding here, reaching through the fingertips, lengthening up through the toes and the crown of the head. Breathing here, draw the navel into the spine. Breathing here. Feeling that intensity and knowing that you're not alone. You can, might be able to even see my feet shaking in this as I'm doing it. Hold on, hang in there. Another big breath. And then release, bring the soles of the feet together. Inhale tall. Exhale, hinge forward at the hips. Let the shoulders roll down your back. Be long through the crown of the head. Breathing here. Trying to soften that. Inhale and come up. Come back one more time. Roll the shoulders down the back, draw the belly in, come back up onto the sit bones. Bring the feet up off the floor. Find your Navasana, find your boat pose with either straight legs or bent knees, your choice. As long as you have that integrity in the low back, drawing the navel to the spine. Think of reaching the head up, reach through the fingertips. Stretch long, feel your strength. You can do it, you can hang in there. Can it sustain the heat of this fire? 
and then release, bring the soles of the feet together. Inhale, tall. Exhale, let yourself hinge forward. Take a nice big breath into the back body and exhale, let yourself come forward a little more if that feels comfortable. If you'd like to round your back and let your head come down closer to your feet, feel free to do that if that feels comfortable on the low back. If that's not comfortable, then stay high with a long spine. And then inhale up and come over onto your hands and knees into a tabletop position. So find the tabletop with the creases of your wrists facing forward, your hands directly under your shoulders, knees under the hips. And first inhale, find length in the spine. Exhale, tuck the chin into the chest. And do a few cat cows here. As your inhale comes, drop the belly, lift the chin. Flowing through that at whatever pace feels good for you, just kind of rolling out the back, stretching out the belly. It might feel good to take a nice big inhale and pause here. Stretch out all the core muscles that we just worked in the boat pose. And then come to a neutral spine and lengthening the tailbone from the, and the crown of the head on your inhale. On the exhale, draw the belly up into the spine, but lift the gaze this time. So we're gonna kind of do the opposite. So as you're drawing the navel to the spine, you're looking forward on your mat. And then as you inhale and drop the belly, tuck your chin into your chest, stretch out your neck. And then exhale, draw the belly into the spine, rounding the back, pushing the hands into the floor. Lift your gaze forward. You're grounding down, trying to draw the shoulders away from the ears. And then inhale, let the belly drop and tuck the chin. And then exhale, draw the belly in, lift the gaze, looking forward. And then inhale, drop the belly, tuck the chin, stretching out the neck, roll the shoulders down your back. And then come back to a neutral spine. Take your right foot, kickstand it out a little bit. Take your right hand directly under the shoulder. Stretch out your left foot so you're in a nice long line and reach that left arm long towards the front of your mat. Stacking the shoulders, take a nice big breath here, ground down the left foot. And then as you push that foot into the floor, tone the belly, reach the fingers farther away. And then inhale, draw the arm up overhead, exhale, circle it down to, towards your hips, down to the floor, inhale, reach it up. And as you're circling and when you bring it down, draw the belly and let the shoulder roll towards the floor and follow your hand with your gaze, inhaling up. Exhaling down. Inhale, draw the arm up straight overhead, over your shoulder, tone the belly, and lift your back foot off the floor. Flexing through the heel, reaching here, so your right knee and shin and hand are on the floor. The left leg is lifted. You're reaching long, holding here, breathing into that hip that's Feeling that tension, that pressure, that heat build up as you're holding the pose. And then exhale, lower down. Come back to your neutral position. And kickstand the left foot out. Take the left hand directly under the shoulder. Stretch the right leg out. So your hand and your knee and your back foot are in line. Reach your right arm long to the front of the room, stacking the shoulders. Ground down the right foot, tone the belly, reach through the fingertips, stretch the head away from your shoulders. Breathing here. And then inhale, bring the hand up overhead. Exhale, roll it down towards the floor. Inhale, circle it up in front. Exhale down. Inhale up. Exhale down, inhale, raise it up. Hold the hand directly above the shoulder, draw the belly and lengthen the spine, bring your right foot off the floor, try to level it to the floor, flex through the heel. 
Breathing here, finding that balance and staying with it even as it, as, as it starts to get intense in the outer hip. Breathing into that. Know that you can hold here with it. Hang in there one more breath. Lower the foot down, lower the hands down and come back to your neutral position. Inhale, find length in your spine. Exhale, push your hips out to the right, circle them down towards your hips, and then inhale, draw them up, stretching out the hips that we just um, were working in that pose, in that variation of Ardha Chandrasana, half moon. And then go the other direction for a few cycles, circling around. And then come to your neutral spine, tuck your toes, lift your hips high, come into your first downward dog, draw the shoulders back down your back, ground into your hands, let your head come towards the floor, take a nice big breath into your back body. And look forward to your hands and either step, walk, or hop your feet forward. Ground down your feet on the exhale, let your head come towards the floor. Inhale, come up to a flat back. Exhale, lower down. Inhale, arms up overhead, and exhale to heart center. Take a look down at your feet and have them hip distance and parallel. Inhale, arms up overhead. Exhale, sit back into Utkatasana. Have your knees right over the feet. Take a look at that. Make sure you can see the toes in front of them. And then as you're lifting your chest, lifting your gaze, most of your weight, you're going to feel it in your heels, but your toes are on the floor. Notice what's going on in the low back. Tone the belly, draw it in a little, lengthen the tailbone, holding here, breathing into it. Maybe see if on the next exhale you can go down just a little bit, maybe another inch, holding here into the pose, breathing into it, feeling the strength of your legs, draw the shoulders down your back, breathing here, raise your cheekbones, knowing that you are strong, you can endure, hang in there. Take some nice big breaths. And then on the exhale, lower the hands down, lower the hips just a little bit. And then inhale, raise the hips two or three inches, arms come up. Exhale, lower the hips down. Keep the chest high though. So you're trying not to move the body from the hips up. It's just the arms and the legs that are moving. You're gonna start to feel a lot right above the knees and the top of the, your um, quads. Breathe into it. You got this. Feeling the heat build, feeling the warmth. Inhale, arms up overhead, straighten the legs. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, come up to a flat back and lengthen here. Exhale, lower down. As you come forward, if your back is okay and happy, then take a nice big breath into the back body and on your exhale, try to allow it to lengthen. If you need to support your back with your hands and come up a little higher, go ahead and do that. Feel free to have a little bend in the knees. Take another big breath into the back body. And a big exhale. Inhale, arms up overhead. And exhale, heart center and sit back into Utkatasana. Draw the belly in, lengthen the tailbone. Breathing here, finding that position, finding that strength, breathing into it. Knowing that as it gets harder, you can do it. You just have to breathe into it and know that we're all doing this together. And then inhale, arms up, exhale, forward fold. Inhale, lengthen up to a flat back. Exhale, forward fold again. Feel free to bend the knees a little bit and allow your back to lengthen on your exhales. And then ground down the feet on the next inhale, draw the arms up overhead, clasp the hands, roll the shoulders down your back. And then exhale over to the right side, ground down that left foot, tone the belly, take a nice big breath into the left side body. 
Inhale, arms up overhead and exhale over to the right. Take a nice big breath into the right side body. And then inhale, arms up, exhale. Bring your hands to your low back onto your pelvis. Draw the belly in and tuck, push your fingertips kind of into where like your SI joint is into the low part of your pelvis and draw the elbows together. Lift the sternum and imagine you have a little ball behind your neck. So you're keeping a nice long neck. Take a nice big breath here. Even though it feels hard to breathe, sometimes leaning into this pose, just allow that breath to be expansive. And then on your next inhale, come up. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, step the right leg back into a lunge. Exhale, the left leg back to downward dog. Inhale, come forward to a plank. Exhale, lower down. Point the toes, draw the belly in. Inhale, baby cobra. Exhale, tuck your toes, hips high, downward dog. Inhale, lift the right leg straight behind you and exhale, drop forward to a lunge. Inhale, bring the left leg forward, ground down the feet on the exhale. Inhale to a flat back. Exhale, lower down. Inhale, arms up overhead and exhale to heart center. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, flat back, lengthen. Exhale, lower down. Inhale, step the left leg back into a lunge. Exhale, the right leg back, downward dog. Inhale, forward to a plank, top of a push up. Exhale, lower down. Feel free to lower your knees and your torso. Point your toes, draw the belly and inhale, baby cobra. Exhale, tuck your toes, hip side, downward dog. Inhale, lift the left leg straight behind you and exhale, drop forward to a lunge. Inhale, bring the right leg forward, ground down your feet, let your head come towards the floor. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, lower down. Inhale, arms up overhead. And exhale, the heart center. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, sit back to Utkatasana. Draw the belly and lengthen the tailbone, breathing here. Feeling that weight in the heels, feeling that strength of the legs. And then as you inhale and come up, lift the left leg off the floor, draw the belly in, come back down, set the foot down, sit, squat back down. Inhale, come up, draw the belly in. Exhale, come back down. Inhale up. Exhale, plant the foot, draw the belly in, come down. Try to keep the chest high. Inhale. One more time. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale to a flat back, lengthen. Exhale, lower down. Inhale, step the right leg back into a lunge. Draw the feet together, tone the belly. Inhale, rise up into your high lunge. Feel free to use the knee if you, that's helpful. Drawing the feet together, tone the belly, lengthen the low back. And then exhale, circle your arms. Inhale up, exhale. Inhale, exhale, inhale up. On your exhale, twist to the left, left hand on the hip, right hand on the knee. Draw the feet together as you look over that shoulder. Breathing here. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, reach out over your front leg. And then inhale, come up. Keep a bend in that front knee, exhale. So all the movement is coming from the hips up and you're keeping the legs right where they are. Feel that start to build, that heat building in the front leg. Inhale up. And then straighten the front leg, inhaling, reaching. Exhale, bend both knees, draw the belly in. Inhale up, exhale. Inhale. Exhale. 
Now you're probably feeling the heat building in both legs. As you're bending the back leg too, you're pushing into the heel of the front leg. You're gonna enough the ball of the foot and back. Inhale up, straighten the back leg, bend the front knee, holding here, shoulders down your back. Bring your hands behind your back, tone the belly, shoulders down, roll them together, lift your gaze. Imagine that orange behind your neck again. Breathing here, maybe you wanna pull your hands a little bit further away from your bottom, breathing here. Inhale, arms up overhead. Exhale, bring the hands onto the mat, step back to downward dog. Pause in your downward dog, just kind of notice the difference between the difference in the legs, between the left and the right. Take a nice big breath into the back body. Inhale, come forward to a plank, top of a push up, tone the belly. Lengthen from the heels through the crown of the head. Hold here, draw the navel into the spine. Breathe in here. And then on the next exhale, lower down. Point your toes, draw the navel in. Inhale, come up to a cobra. Draw the elbows back, lead with a sternum. Nice big breath. And then tuck your toes, lift your hips high, downward dog. Inhale, lift the right leg straight behind you. Exhale, drop forward to a lunge. Inhale, bring the left leg forward, ground down your feet. Inhale to a flat back. Exhale, lower down. Inhale, arms up overhead. And exhale, the heart center. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, sit back to Utkatasana. Draw the belly and lengthen the tailbone. Take a look down at your feet. Make sure you can see those toes in front. Your weight is mostly in the heels, but the chest is high. And then as you inhale, come up, lift up the right leg. Lower down. Inhale. You can either go at your own pace or kind of follow along with me. You're inhaling as you lift, exhaling as you go down. Last one. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, up to a flat back. Exhale, lower down. Inhale, step the left leg back into a lunge, draw the feet together, tone the belly. Inhale, raise the arms up. And then from here, kind of feel that base. Notice the feet, they might want to push away. Pull them together, tone the low belly, reach back on the exhale. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, circle back. Inhale up, exhale, circle. Inhale up, on your exhale, twist to the right. Right hand on the hip, left hand on the knee, look over the shoulder, holding here in the twist. And then inhale, arms up overhead. Exhale, reach out over the front leg. Inhale and come up. Keep that front knee bent if you can. Exhale, reach out. Inhale up. Exhale. And again, the movement is coming from the hips up, the torso is moving forward, but the low body stays still. And then inhale up, straighten the front leg. And on your exhale, bend both knees, draw the belly in. Inhale up. Push into that heel of the front leg, the ball of the foot, the back leg bends as you lower down. One more time. That's nice. Inhale up, straighten the back leg. The heel probably won't come down, but keep the front leg bent. Bring the hands behind the back, tone the belly, roll the shoulders down the back. See if you can lift your gaze a little bit here, keeping that front knee bent a little, feeling that intensity in the thigh, knowing that you have the strength. And then release, inhale, arms up. Exhale, hands on the mat, step back to downward dog. 
Bend the knees a little bit, maybe pedal out your feet here in your downward dog. Nice big breaths. Inhale, come forward to a plank. Hold here. Tone the belly, draw it up so that the low back isn't sagging. You're reaching the heels away from the crown of the head. Shoulders drawn away from the ears. And then exhale, lower down. Feel free to lower the knees first. Point the toes, draw the navel in. Inhale, baby cobra, elbows back. Lead with the sternum, take a nice full breath. And then on your next exhale, push back to child's pose. And let your hips come down towards your heels. Ground your hands down and then let your head come down towards the floor. And take a nice full breath into your back body here. And a big exhale. Just at noticing how your body's feeling. Acknowledge any heat or intensity that you might feel right now. And then inhale, come up to a tabletop. Tuck your toes, lift your hips high into your downward dog. Look forward to your hands and either step, walk, or hop your feet forward. Ground down your feet on the exhale. Inhale to a flat back. Exhale, lower down. Inhale, arms up overhead. And exhale, the heart center. Nice. If you have, find um, a strap, a towel, a shirt, anything that you could use. That's a couple feet long. And um, bring your weight into your right foot and bring the strap or towel or whatever it is over your left foot and draw it up. And so have it on that foot, draw it up, roll the shoulders down your back, and if you can hold that, if it's not too bulky, if you can hold it just in the left hand, go ahead and do that. And then as you are grounding down with your foot, you're reaching your head up to the ceiling. Focus on something that's not moving. And when you feel stable, reach that foot out. And height isn't as important as that you're lengthening that leg. So if this is where you're feeling today, that's totally fine. And if you want to use a chair to hold on to or a countertop or anything, that's fine too. Holding here, trying to keep your balance. And then see if you can open up your leg out to the side, roll the shoulder down your back. See if you can bring that right arm out and try to level your hips here. A lot of times we're kind of lifting that foot way high but try to level the hips and use the strap or towel to help um, create stability by pushing into it with your foot and drawing back with that left hand. And now maybe see if you can turn your gaze towards that extended hand. Breathing here. And then come back to center. Bring your foot back forward and see if you can switch hands. And before you go any further, just bring the left, the left hand onto your hip and ground yourself down again. Tone the belly, reach up through the crown of the head. And then when you feel stable from the core, slowly turn away and see if you can look either to the side or behind you. Maybe reaching that hand out behind, finding that balance. And being comfortable with the fact that it's probably going to feel a little unbalanced at times and just see if you can hang on there rather than letting it go. Just hold in with it and then come back to center. And then as you come forward to center, release the foot out of the towel or the strap and see if you can just reach it back behind you, reach your hands out in front. Breathing here, try to level your torso to the floor as best you can. Level that back leg and reach Really stretch the heel away from the fingertips, hang in there with it. Even when our animals are distracting us, the cat just came through and drank my water. And then see if you can come up to your five-pointed star. Hold on, big hold here. Wiggle, sparkle your star, raise your cheekbones. And then see if you can come into your tree, a low tree. Bring your foot onto your calf. And let the weight of that kind of ground you down, shoulders down your back. 
and then lower that down. And then shake out your foot. Take a nice big inhale, big exhale. And then shift your weight into your left foot and bring the strap on the right foot. Try to bring it on the, or the towel, bring it on the ball of the foot versus the arch. And then draw that foot up and hold onto it with your right hand. Bring the left hand onto your hip. And then first start from your base. Ground down by gripping the floor with your foot. Contract your thigh a little bit. Draw the belly in. Reach up tall. And when you're ready, extend the leg. And as you extend it, try to notice where your hip points are. Try to level those to the floor. Breathing here. And then slowly open the leg out to the side. You'll notice your weight is going to shift a little bit to the left as the leg comes out to the right. And then bring your hand out to help counterbalance that. And as we're here, really reach up through the crown of the head, shoulders down your back. And then see if you can turn your gaze and look towards that extended fingers. And imagine like looking beyond that this, this time of difficulty and struggle and stress is going to bring us through to the other side of something. And hopefully it will be, it will be stronger in one way or another. Come back to center. And then take the strap or towel in the other hand. Bring your right hand onto your hip and ground yourself down again. Reach up through the crown of the head, tone the belly, and then from the core, slowly turn away. Roll your shoulder down your back. See if you can look back behind you or to the side. Hold in here. Staying steady even when, you know, knowing or rather not staying steady, but kind of being comfortable with that unbalance that's there. I'm wobbling a little today, and that's okay. Come back to center, release the foot, and see if without touching it down, you can reach it behind you. Reach your hands out in front, leveling the torso to the floor, level the foot and the leg to the floor, point the toes down, reach that heel away. Breathing here, hang in there. You might be starting to get a cramp in the foot or the hip. Breathe into it. And then see if you can come up and bring the foot out to your five-pointed star. Sparkle, shine bright. And then bring the foot in for a tree. Low Vriksasana, bring it onto your calf. Let the weight of that foot kind of push into the calf and ground you down, reaching up through the fingertips. And then lower down, shake it out a little bit. And you can put your strap down, your towel, and if you have something to drink, go ahead and get a sip. and then come back to your mat. And then inhale, arms up overhead. Exhale, sit back to Utkatasana. Draw the belly in, lengthen the tailbone, find that position here, and bring up the right heel. And just hold here, and as you bring that heel up, draw the belly in and do a little pelvic tuck and then kind of lengthen the tailbone. Draw it in. So you're kind of doing a little pelvic tuck. It's a little action. If I turn to the side, you can see just a micro, kind of rounding the low back a little bit. And then switch sides. Lift up the left heel, tone the belly, and kind of do a little pelvic tuck there too. So stretching out the low back, but it works the hips a little bit differently. Lower the heels down. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, up to a flat back, lengthen. Exhale, lower down. Inhale, step the right leg back into a lunge. Draw the feet together. Inhale, arms up overhead. And then exhale, open up into your warrior two. Find your positioning, lining up the arch and the heel. Have a nice bend in the knee with the knee directly over the ankle. And then just relax for a moment and just notice how the weight wants to kind of push the feet away. And then draw the feet together. Lift up the pelvic floor, draw the belly and lengthen up the spine. Roll the shoulders down your back. Reach, looking out through the fingertips, raise your cheekbones and feel your strength in the pose. 
And then on your exhale, take your right hand onto your thigh, left hand comes up, kind of stacking the shoulders, take a nice breath into the left side of your ribcage. And then inhale, arms back up. Exhale, bring your form onto your thigh, stack the shoulders, reach long through the right side body. And then from here, keep, try to keep the lower body stable, keeping that bend in the left knee as you draw the belly and inhale all the way back, reverse warrior, and all the way forward, going at your own pace. And as you come forward, you can bring that forearm in front of the thigh if you want a little more of a challenge on the front leg, or you can bring it right onto the thigh to help release some of that tension and pressure. You decide what feels best for you. Going back and forth, flowing in the pace. And even though as it starts to build in the leg, just come into that idea of that strength and that tapas, that sometimes we have to get, things get a little intense. Sometimes things feel a little overwhelming, but we can stay with it, we can hang in there, and we will be stronger on the other side. Inhale up, hold here, breathing, keeping a bend in the knee, and then inhale straight in the front leg, take the right hand on the thigh, lift the left one up, take a nice big breath, so you're in a reverse triangle here, straightening that left leg, and then inhale, bring the arms to parallel, keep the front leg straight, and let your hips kind of turn a little bit at a 45 degree angle. Your knee turns towards your toes. Ground down the ball of your foot just a little bit more than the heel so you release the tension on the knee. Reach forward and bring your hand onto the, down towards your shin. Maybe it comes to the floor or you have a block. Raise your top arm. Stack it right over your shoulder. And then think of lengthening out through the crown of the head again. Breathe in here in your triangle. And then inhale and come up. Bend the front knee, pinwheel the hands onto the floor. Step back to downward dog. Inhale and just pedal out your feet a little bit here. And on your next inhale, come forward to a plank, top of a push up. Draw the shoulders in. Now you have the choice to either stay here in a high plank or you could go down onto your elbows if that feels better for your wrists. Widen your feet a little and let your heels come over to the right and stack yourself over the right shoulder or elbow and have your top foot is staggered. Reach up through the left hand here, draw the belly in, try to be a nice straight line coming up through the center of your body, out the crown of your head. Breathe in here, holding. And if you'd like a challenge, you could take your top leg and you could lift it up into what we call to start out but your choice to keep it on the floor or start out or, or stack it. Hold in here, feeling that intensity of the side plank, breathing into it. A couple nice big deep breaths, really lengthening out the edges of your body and then lower that hand back down or elbow down, push back to your downward dog. Take a nice big breath, big exhale. Now, let the neck relax and then walk your feet forward. Ground down your feet and inhale your arms up overhead. And exhale to heart center. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale to a flat back and lengthen. Exhale, lower down. Inhale, step the left leg back into a lunge. Draw the feet together, tone the core. Inhale, arms up. And then exhale, open up into your warrior two. Find that positioning, so have a nice bend in the knee, the knees right over the ankle. And then again, just relax for a moment and feel the weight, the energy you wanna push away in the feet. And then draw it together, toning the belly, lengthening up, extending out through the extremities of the body. And then take the left hand onto your thigh, raise the right arm up, take a nice big breath. 
big inhale and exhale. And then inhale up, exhale, bring your forearm onto your thigh, stack your shoulders, reach long through the left side body. Nice big breath here. And then keeping the low body stable, draw the navel in and use the side body, use the core to lift and lower, inhaling back, exhaling, coming forward. You can bring the elbow onto the thigh or you can bring the elbow in the arm in front of the thigh. Your choice, flowing back and forth at your own pace. The slower, when you go slower, it's going to add a little more strengthening, a little more intensity. Going faster is going to increase the cardio. You decide what feels best for you right now. Trying to keep that leg bent, that knee bent. Breathing into it as the intensity builds. You've got this hang in there with it. One more time. Inhale, come up to your warrior two. Hold here in the pose, keeping that bend in the knee. Raise your cheekbones. I don't know about you, but my right leg is going, ah, this is intense. Hang in there with it. You got it. And then straighten the front leg, inhaling up, exhale, take the left hand onto the thigh, raise up the right hand, take a nice big breath. And then inhale, bring the arms to parallel, turn the knee so it faces the toes, so the femur kind of rotates in the hip socket, ground down the ball of the foot a little more than the heel, reach forward, keep the body in the same plane as the legs, bring the right hand down, Left hand comes up and then lengthen out the spine and notice what's happening with the shoulders. Try to roll them both down your back so you're opening up through the collarbones. A nice big breath here. And then inhale, come back up. Bend into your knee, pinwheel the hands onto the floor, step back to downward dog. Roll the shoulders down your back, pedal out your feet a little bit. And then inhale, come forward to your plank, top of a push-up. And you have the choice again to go onto your elbows or you can stay up onto your hands. Widen the feet a little, let the heels come over to the left side. Stack your shoulder right over that um, left wrist or elbow and then reach up with the top arm. It's fine to keep the right foot in front grounding down Try to keep the body in a nice plane instead of letting yourself round forward. So you're keeping the shoulders in good alignment. You also have the option to lift up that top leg if you want to challenge yourself a little more. Feel that intensity, feel that building, breathing here. It's reaching out through the arm and the leg, holding the pose, reaching through the crown of the head. Just a few more breaths. You've got this. Lower the hand down or the elbow, push back to downward dog, pedal out your feet a little bit. Nice big breaths here. Lower the knees onto the mat and come into child's pose. Come into your balasana, however you like. You can take the knees wide or take them close together. Roll out your wrists a little bit, especially if you were just on your wrist for those planks. Let your head come down to the mat. Let your breath be full so you feel it expand all the way down the length of your spine. And big exhales, just releasing. And then maybe rock your hips back and forth, side to side a little bit. And walk your hands over to the right side, stretch out the left side body, take a nice big breath. Big exhale. Walk yourself back through center and then over the hands, over to the left. Let your head come down towards the floor. Take a nice couple big breaths into the right side body. And inhale, come back through center. And then come up 
and come around onto your back. I'm going to kind of turn a little bit to the side so it's easier to see me. And have your feet hip distance apart and parallel. And your hands to your sides here. Inhale, lengthen the spine, and on your exhale, draw the belly in and lift the hips up off the floor, lengthening the tailbone towards the knees. And as you're coming up, so you're drawing the navel in, lengthen the tailbone so you're not overarching the low back here. And notice where your knees are. Keep them in line with the hips. A lot of times as we lift up, you have a tendency to let them come out. Keep them in line with the hips, holding here. Feel your shoulders nice and flat on the floor. Draw the heels towards the shoulders. Feel the back body really engage. And then shift the weight into your right foot and see if you can lift the left foot without letting that left hip sag and keep the thighs parallel. Flex through the heel, really ground down that right foot, feeling the intensity of the pose, holding here. Breathing into it, really push into that right leg. Breathe into it. And then lower the left foot, lower down out of the bridge. Hug the knees into the chest, circle them around. Nice big breath. And then rock, circle the other way. Lower the feet down on the mat. And then hands on the sides. Inhale, lengthen the spine. Exhale, draw the belly in. Roll the tailbone up off the floor. Lengthen it towards the knees. Keep the knees and toes in line. Let the shoulders be flat on the mat. Draw the heels towards the shoulders. Shift the weight into the left foot. Tone the belly again. Lift the right leg off the floor. See if you can keep those hips level. Breathing here, really push into that left foot. Stretch the right heel away from the hip. Breathing here. It's intense. Holding it here with the one leg. See if you can hang in there for one more breath. Lower the foot down. Roll down out of the pose. Hug the knees into the chest. Let yourself rock back and forth. And then lower the legs flat onto the floor. And pick up, bring your right foot up and hold on to the back of your thigh. Flex your foot and draw it in, draw the knee into the chest. And then point your toe and straighten the leg. And you don't have to go all the way. Don't go to a point of uh, discomfort. But point the toe, straighten the leg. And then inhale, flex the foot and hug the knee back into the chest. And then exhale, point the toe, straighten the leg. You can draw it in a little bit, but only to a comfortable stretch. Inhale, flex the foot, bend the knee, hug it into the chest. And one more time, point the foot and straighten the leg as much as possible. And then lower that back down. And then switch sides, bring up the um, opposite leg, hold on to the back of the knee, flex the foot, hug it into the chest. And then point the toe, lengthen the leg, straightening it out. Inhale, bend the knee, flex the foot, draw it in. Point the toe, lengthen it up. This is great if you have sciatica. Inhale, flex the foot, draw it in. It's called nerve flossing. Point the toe, lengthen the leg, but only to a comfortable stretch. And then lower that down. Bend the knees and take your right foot over the left knee. So your ankle is over the left knee. And then tone the belly, flex the feet, and bring the left foot off the floor. Take your right hand between the thighs, hold on to the back of the left thigh, flex the feet, and draw them towards you. Draw the thighs towards you to stretch out that outer hip. Breathing into it. And then lower the left foot onto the floor. Keep the right ankle on that knee. Bring your arms out to your sides and let the, the, um, your hips, your, your knee, excuse me, your left knee come over to the left. 
Let the right foot come down to the floor. Turn your gaze to the right. Take a nice big breath here. And then inhale, draw it back up and switch sides. So put the right foot down, take the left ankle on top of the right thigh, and then take your left hand between the thighs and grab onto the back of the right thigh, flex both feet, draw them in towards you. And you can, if your elbow fits into that left knee, you can push into it a little bit to get a little more opening. And take a few breaths here, opening up. You're mostly gonna probably feel it in the outer left thigh. Breathing here. And then lower the right foot back down onto the floor. Bring your arms out to the sides. Let your right knee come over to the right and the left foot comes over to the left. So you're kind of hooking it on that knee to hold it there and then turn your gaze away. A little gentle twist here. Breathing into it. And then inhale, come back to center. Hug the knees into the chest. <clears throat> Rock yourself side to side a little bit. Bring your arms to the inside of your knees and hold on to either your ankles or the outside of your feet and widen your feet out into what we call happy baby. So your knees are by your armpits and let yourself rock back and forth a little bit, taking a few breaths here. Big inhales, big exhales. Then hold on to the right foot and stretch the left foot long and reach the left arm long overhead. Take a nice big breath. And maybe you even wanna kind of crescent yourself, like arch, reach that left hand and that left foot so far that you're kind of arching around your body a little bit. Nice big breaths here. And then come back to center and bring up that left leg and hold on to the ankle or the foot and stretch out the right side body, drawing the left, knee towards the armpit, reaching through that right side, stretching long. And again, maybe you want to kind of let it kind of come over in a little bit of an arch. Just kind of feeling wherever it feels best to let the stretch happen. And then inhale back to center, hug the knees in one more time. And just see what your body's asking for, if it needs a little more rocking, a little more stretching. And then lay yourself long on your mat. And adjust yourself. Maybe you want to put something under the knees. Maybe you want to throw on a sweatshirt right now or put a blanket over yourself, whatever is going to feel comfortable. And then start with the feet. Squeeze the feet tight and flex them wide. Roll the ankles and wrists around and release the feet and relax them. And then ground the legs into the floor. Squeeze them for a moment and then release and relax. Let your knees and toes turn out. Adjust your hips a little bit, your shoulders and your spine. And then gently squeeze your hands, making fists and flex your fingers wide. Roll your wrists around, and then relax your hands. Ground down the arms, squeeze all the muscles in the arms into the floor, and then release and relax. Adjust your spine, take a nice big deep inhale, then a big exhale, <sighs> just let it sigh out. Swallow once or twice, Rock your head side to side. Squeeze your face tight like you just sucked on something sour. Open your mouth wide, stretch your jaw, lift your eyebrows, and then let yourself just settle into your mat. Let yourself be supported on your mat. Feeling that comfort of being in your own home. giving yourself that acknowledgement and having a little gratitude for taking the time to do your yoga today. Building your strength physically and emotionally. And then bring your attention to your breath. And just notice how your breath feels, 
coming in and out of your body. Notice how it feels filling up your lungs, going into your throat. Your life force. And I will read a little poem that Deborah Dell put into her book about tapas. If you are a friend of God, fire is your water. You should wish to have a hundred thousand sets of moth wings so you could burn them away one set a night. The moth sees light and goes into fire. You should see fire and go toward light. Fire is what of God is world consuming. Know that even during this time of stress and struggle and hardship, that we are strong together and that inner fire will keep alive if we keep paying attention to that. Allow your breath to lengthen, bring a little life to your fingers and toes, wiggling them around. Stretch your arms long overhead in a full body stretch. Taking a nice big deep inhale into your heart center and roll over to your right side. Use your arm to hold up, prop up your head to take a few breaths here and slowly come up to a seated position with your eyes closed. And as you come up to your seat, just take a moment to notice how your breath and your body and your mind feel. And remember that you can come back to that anytime. Coming back to your breath to help find that balance, find that inner strength that we all need right now. Bring your hands to your heart center and I invite you to chant the sound of OM with me one time. Take a full exhale and a deep, joyful inhale. The light in me bows to the light in you. Namaste. Thank you for coming to class today. It was wonderful to have all of you here.